George and Molly Sizemore have been key members of our community for many years. Here's Joel with a closer look. I guess it was love at first sight, Joel. We've been married 45 years, and my hand to God, we've never had an argument. If we ever do, I'll kill him. For over 40 years, George and Molly Sizemore have dedicated their lives to improving Leslie County. Well, from the time that I graduated from college, from East EKU, I knew when I got come back to Leslie County that I wanted to get involved with Leslie County sport, football in particular. I think it's just the love for sports. Wherever he went, he got involved and uh, he coached football. Uh, one year we did not have a football coach and he and uh, uh, Bob Bowling, I guess, worked spring practice uh, until Coach Hines came and then he stayed the summer and worked and he went back to Hyden Elementary and coached football and then he moved to W.B. Muncie and he coached football and basketball and it's, let's just say sports and especially Leslie County sports is his first love because we'll sit on the hill on Friday night up there in Hill Point and he said that's a second generation football player and I'll ask him who is that? Well, I don't know but can't you tell he was the principal uh, a couple of years uh, assistant principal principal at the high school and then he was principal over at the Hyden Elementary for uh, several years until he had his uh, cerebral hemorrhage and then then he took a disability. That just gave him more time to help coach. Uh, he's, he's coached in the uh, two or three different times at the high school and then he helped coach over at the Clay County for one of his former players and uh, former uh, coaches that he, he coached with and he went over there to help Eugene Hensley with that so he's just he, he's there for whatever you need him for. George Sizemore, as I've worked in, uh, with the high school or with the school system in general, the thing I can say about George above anything else is he's all about the students and he's all about, especially when he was coaching football, the young men. Uh, coach is uh, very soft-spoken, but he gets his message across in a very defined and very emphatic way. And I can just tell you, working with him and observing him as he's worked with these young people, uh, he truly maximizes their efforts. And uh, as he's been a, a coach for many years, uh, his teams are always well prepared and, and really play very hard. And I think that's the same tribute you can do with him as a principal or a teacher in the school system. I think that he gets everything out of each one of the students. Even though Coach Sizemore is quiet by nature, that doesn't mean you shouldn't listen to what he's saying. Now, there's two things about Coach that some people don't really know. Number one, he has got a wonderful sense of humor. And if you've got, because he's so soft-spoken, you've got to really listen. And he'll, uh, he'll say something real with a very dry humor that you go, you know, that was really funny or that was really observant and, and Coach is, is great at that. The other thing I'll say about Coach is with his very low-key demeanor, when he was a, a defensive coordinator with Coach Floyd Hines for many years up at the high school, Coach was the defensive coordinator and as I told him I've never seen any coach that would blitz more than he did. I mean he believed that he, his job was not only to stop the other team, but to get the ball back as quickly as possible. What is the best part of being a football coach? Well, I, I don't know. Winning is the best part. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing those boys develop from, uh, especially when you coach in elementary school, if you have that, you know, luxury to do that when they're young, real young, and uh, bring them, bring them along. Molly was also very involved with the school system for many years. She was. She taught for 36 years here in Leslie County. Uh, she helped numerous kids for their their uh, education. She did the yearbook for Leslie County High School for many years. She never missed a prom, never missed a project sober or any sport event. 
that uh, Leslie County was involved in. I retired after 36 years with the Board of Education. People that retire, and I tell people this all the time, and they, they look at me, people that retire go home and sit down and die. Uh, I'm, I'm just too young to do that. <laughs> In her retirement, Molly is busier than ever, working with Relay for Life, Weight Watchers, and several other organizations. I'm on the board at Big Creek Missions. Uh, I've been uh, with them probably 10 years. Uh, I'm on the advisory board at Mary Brick ARH. She and I get in a little bit of trouble sometimes. Uh, her quote is, it's always best to ask for forgiveness than it is for per permission. And uh, we have to do that every once in a while with, with our uh, relay um, fundraisers and so on. To recruit teams, recruit sponsors, um, raise money for research, just many, many things that, that we do there. Help uh, support the Hope Lodge, help support the Hospice Center, uh, just mainly uh, to help people, uh, cancer patients and cancer survivors all over. And George and Molly both agree that giving back to the community has been a key part of their lives. I guess that's why I wanted to coach elementary football. I, Coach Hines, when he came here, he wanted me to go straight into helping him be assistant. But I told him, uh, I'd rather coach down at the elementary schools and help down there, help get them started. And uh, uh, I think we, you have to start down at uh, where they need, where, you know, the beginning is, you know, it, it's, uh, that's the hardest part is about uh, getting somebody started into something, something they've, it's new to them. What else would I be doing? You know, if I can help someone, if I can help someone else. And I, and I think we need to be out there in our community. We need to be supporting and supporting one another and doing whatever they, they need to do. As far as coaching goes, it seems to be in the size more genes, as their son Ryan is a successful coach in Georgia. He is. Uh, he's, doing, he's doing real well. Uh, He's with the team this year, and uh, they live in Villarica, Georgia, and he's with Alexander High School, and they were supposed to go four and six. They went ten and two. Uh, he's, oh, he's the bug bit him, you know. <laughs> Plus, there's another generation of Sizemores taking up the football mantle as well. He plays in the line. He's a lineman just like I was and his daddy was. He played the season, and... Uh, he was chosen on the All-Star team. They, chose, they, they play uh, All-Star games. After all their years of dedication to this community, everyone who has been associated with George and Molly Sizemore appreciates the time and effort they have put into Leslie County. She's, she has to be on the go, helping someone somewhere all the time. Molly is just a very caring person and Leslie County is a better place with her in it. I'll say this, uh, there's not been a greater joy than to work with George Sizemore in any capacity in this community or in the school system or on the football field. And uh, this, this award for him is very, very well deserved. Coach and Mrs. Sizemore, you are truly Leslie County local treasures. Our Mountains is sponsored by Frontier Nursing University, educating nurse midwives and nurse practitioners through distance education. The Kentucky Bankers Association, your association, our commonwealth. The Foundation for Appalachian Kentucky, a community foundation helping donors make meaningful investments in Eastern Kentucky. Learn more at AppalachianKentucky.org. Hazard Community and Technical College. Find them online at hazard.kctcs.edu.